Hi, I'm Paul. I've been with Boratech for over 10 years. I'm currently the Vice President in Boratech. Today, I'll be very excited to introduce our brand new ES process. Yes, so our brand new ES process compared to our standard line uses roughly 40% less in surface area required as well as a few brand new designs such as intensive hot washing as well as uh, rinsing. So also one of the main feature for the ES line is modularization. So through this new concept of designing, we are able to greatly reduce the time required to install on site. We currently operate the new ES washing line here in Taiwan. The brand new ES line in Taiwan, due to our own characteristic, could only process sea flake as well as cold watch flakes. Uh, so what is a sea flake is a flake that consists with labels as well as caps and rings and other contaminations. After the process of the ES, uh, the flake will come out and then uh, we'll be introducing that to the pelletization as well as uh, solid slate polycondensation for full grade application. Of course, with our new ES process compared to our standard process, the surface area is greatly reduced, so the concern of the quality, of course, will be raised. But with our brand new design, with the intensive hot washing, as well as our few other key design, the washing efficiency, as well as the final product's quality has not been compromised. With our new ES design, the flake, we can also meet the quality for fine denier uh, filament, as well as full grade applications. Yes, as I mentioned, the sea flake consists with a lot percentage of labels as well as caps and rings. With our newly designed zigzag, we will be able to reduce roughly around 92% of the label through just one machine. So with multiple machines, we were able to remove the labels to the uh, particle per million that's up to our standard. So with our newly designed intensive hot washing, serves several purposes within just one machine. With the ability to soak, to do low friction, as well as high speed friction, we will be able to guarantee for the glue, as well as the label and other impurities to be able to peel off from the surface of the bottle. Moreover, small batch process ensures the continuous of production as well as the quality. This enhanced rinsing system has a smaller footprint and an integrated function for rinsing. This has a dual function for PET as well as polypropylene and polyethylene. The module includes the new rinsing system, the flotation tank, a dryer, and an ultrasonic washing machine. The newly designed enhanced rinsing adapts the concept of first in, first out. This new concept with a greater mix with exchange rate with water and material will help us to reduce the contamination and chemical inside the water, guarantee a better performance for the final product of the flake. So the ultrasonic cleaning this device creates a vacuum bubble, which is around 50 to 500 microns. And when this, uh, this bubble bursts, it will release an energy that will separate the dirt from the plastic. And this will be able to create a more intense washing to the material without damaging it. So as we know, the aging bottle as well as oil bottle creates what we call the yellow flakes. In the traditional bottle washing line, we were able to heat these type of material to make it turn yellow, and the operators will be able to sort them out by hand. However, this type of sorting is never really efficient. The satisfactory is just simply not there. 
So with our new preheating machine, what we could do is we will be able to preheat all the flakes and make whatever that will turn yellow, turns yellow. And through this type of process, this system will turn the aged bottles and the aged flakes into yellow flakes. This will allow optical sorters to remove the yellow flake in the after process. In the washing process, we have a flake sorter. And for the flake, we have a few different functions, such as color sorting. And for color sorting, we use a CCD-based camera for detection as well as we have optical sorting. For optical sorting, we use near-infrared sensor for detection. Once the impurities are detected, uh, we use compressed air to blow the impurities away from the mainstream. So first step, we use stirring hot air drying 2.5 tons unique pre-drying technology, first in first out principle of pre-drying. Preheating and drying by means of the hot air make the moisture and ensure the viscosity in the after process. For our extruders, we adapt a chronical twin screw extruder. With this type of equipment, it has a few characteristics. First, it has a higher capacity for low density material, as well as high torque and low energy if, uh, cost. The characteristic of twin screw extruder provides a greater surface area for degassing and vacuum. This will have a better efficiency in removing the VOCs. We use the underwater cutting. After the pelletizer, uh, we have a water cutting system, which provides a round type of pellets. Yes, so this system consists of underwater cutting, a dryer, and an online crystallization bed. So with these three systems together, we'll be able to reduce the energy consumption for about 50% when we introduce the material to the after process. And the reason behind that is because when we pelletize the, the pellets, the temperature will still be able to maintain at a higher 150 degrees centigrade. And so for this type of uh, temperature, it uh, will be easier to utilize in the after process, which is the SSP. Yes, the preheating is a mechanical agitation. Uh, this with uh, the hollowed disc as well as the material touching the vessel surface creates heat to heat up the material. With this special design, we were able to reduce about 50% of the energy consumption. This unit also gives a precise heat control and this will allow the material to uh, be crystallized in this unit. The tall silo that you see here is called a reactor. The main purpose of this reactor is to keep a consistent heat as well as a low oxygen level. With these two together, we'll be able to achieve increasing in viscosity as well as decontamination. The reactor also has a first-in, first-out mechanism and with mechanical discharge, we can assure that this will have no arch uh, during production. Also, with a purification for nitrogen circulation system as well as a heat recovering system for the pellet cooling, we are able to reduce the energy consumption for this unit. Ultimately, through all the designs, we are able to reduce the VOC as well as the AA value to be under 1 ppm, which meets the full grade regulation for RPET. Well, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for taking their time to view this video. And I would like to reach out and express that here, what we do in Boratech is a very unique company. 
There are very little companies like us who are both a machine user as well as a machine provider. So visiting our facility here in Taiwan will give you a great assurance that our technology and our know-how is one of the leading in this industry. And uh, thank you all again for your time. Thank you.